It was a church service and a civil rights rally, but mainly it was a gathering of the noted and the powerful to rescue the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. This is a federal judge, Damon Keith. Your presence here today indicates dramatically that we are in the process of rebuilding. The NAACP is reportedly $4 million in debt, much of the red ink flowing during the tenures of Executive Director Benjamin Chavis and Chairman William Gibson. Columnist Carl Rowan was instrumental in exposing the organization's inner troubles, the financial calamities of the Gibson-Chavis time. Rowan made the church event a fundraiser. So I went to the board meeting of the Gannett Company, and I said to the chairman and CEO, John Curley, hey, Mrs. Evers Williams needs a little help. He said, we'll do it. Gannett is giving $100,000. It's a pleasure this evening to witness our support for the rebirth of the NAACP. I present a check tonight in the amount of $5,000. You solemnly swear Solemnly swear that I the new chair of the NAACP, Merle Evers Williams, widow of a civil rights leader slain 32 years ago, was elected by a margin of only one vote. She was sworn in by no fewer than seven federal judges. We are all, all of us moving toward the same goal, if you will, and that is a strong, viable NAACP. The NAACP's board remains divided. Young blacks do not pay the nation's oldest civil rights organization the same respect and attention their parents did. Many poorer blacks are disconnected. The new boss has much to overcome. Jed Duval from Washington.